Welcome to part 2 of this Final Fantasy guide. First thing is to start grabbing your Blitzball team. You'll head back to Luca. Grab Jumal, Zalitz, and Wedge. Later, on the Meehan Road, you'll get Rom. You should get 20 to 30 potions. Conserve Yuna's MP and use potions on low HP characters. As you travel along these roads, talk to people, they will give you free stuff. Notable loot includes a quality Kamari weapon, a red ring for Yuna, and a level 1 key sphere. Make sure to grab all these. Use Lancet to get Fire Breath for Kamari. For your battles, Yuna should be using Null Magic. Know that Null Blaze protects against bombs. If a bomb explodes, you'll get zero experience. For dual horns, hit him with Darkness and Slow. You will get another level 1 key sphere at the end. Now you can break Kamari in to Riku's Sphere Grid. Take the first section for an HP boost, then backtrack to grab the ability Use. For the Chocobo Eater boss, hit him with status ailments. Slow, Power Break, and Darkness will make quick work of this boss. Now start hasting your characters, starting with Titus. Then cast Cheer on the two with Piercing. Get him pushed over the cliff for two level 1 key spheres. Get your free Chocobo and traverse the lower section of the road. Grab this Fortune Sphere, then talk to Awaka to replenish your potions. 20 or 30 is a good amount. Right after the cutscene where Seymour says, Pretend you didn't see them. <sighs> turn back and talk to the guard. You'll get a tough bangle for Lulu. Notable loot in the Mushroom Rock Road are silence grenades and smoke bombs. Get them by stealing from Fungars and Garudas. Look out for a Dark Touch weapon drop. In general, status ailment weapons are best for attackers, and insta-kill weapons are best for Riku, Lulu, and Yuna. Midway on this road, talk to the church lady and she'll heal you. Make sure to buy TKO to give Waka stone touch. Optionally, you can grab the sentry, it will prevent ambushes. If you're having trouble and want to level people up, the first option is to level up Titus, grab provoke, and move back to the level 2's key sphere. This is optional and advisable. It will make some future enemies easy. The second option is to level up Lulu. Have her go to Riku's Sphere Grid and take the same HP boost as Kamari. This is not advised because it costs 25 levels. Go and finish up Project Mihen. At this point, Waka's Overdrive attack reels should show up when you start a tournament. Open and exit the Blitzball menu about four times to check. Save the game right before the tournament appears, and reset until you get Return Sphere as the top scorer prize. Play a tournament and get Wedge and Titus to tie for the top scorer to get two Return Spheres. 
Move along to the road to Jose. You can replenish your potions, but you'll probably be fine if you still have 15 or so. But do grab some soft. On the road, this guy will give you a soft ring. Notable new enemies will be the small flyer, Samurg. You can steal smoke bombs. There is also the Basilisk to steal from, who has Petrify Grenades. Once Yuna has Stoneproof, put her in battle right before one of them attacks. If he's giving you trouble, Valifor is untouchable. Make sure Kamari uses Lancet so he can learn Stone Breath. Once you reach the temple, make sure to grab the Mega Phoenix and the Magic Sphere from the Trial. As you leave, grab the Switch Hitter and the Halibut. The Halibut has 20% extra magic. Now at the Moonflow's south bank, you need to beat the Aeon Challenge. Get the autosave on the next screen and go back before you battle. Have your Aeon Overdrives prepared. Start out attacking with Ifrit. Shield if there's a double attack coming. Use your Overdrive just before the next attack would kill Ifrit. Unfortunately, it's pure luck if Yuna survives switching Aeons. If she dies, go back to the autosave. With Yuna hanging on, bring out Valifor and use the Overdrive Energy Blast. You'll get two Dragon Scales. Teach Ixion Water Off. Grab the Magic Defense Sphere. At the Shoe Puff Ride, you'll want to buy from this lady next to the Save Sphere. Buy the Fatal Kate Sith for Lulu. Prepare Waka's Overdrive before riding the shoe puff. Equip Waka with Lightning Strike. You should have picked it up somewhere. Hit the boss with Slow Strike. Haste Titus and get 4 or 5 cheers in. Then unleash Waka's Overdrive to get the overkill. You'll get 2 Mega Phoenix. Riku will join your party in the North Bank. You'll get a tutorial battle, and you'll use the grenades you've been saving for this mix. The bomb cores will give Ifarin fire up. Riku's sphere grid path will be the same HP boost that you gave Kamari. Make sure she turns back to where she started. Farm the chest encounters for 4 stamina tablets. Customize Lulu's tough bangle with auto potion. 